Hello and welcome once again to my channel. I'm Barb, aka PR Goddess. Be Rex the PR Goddess one. Thank you. Sorry, I forgot. It's only been my email address for 20 something years. And this is my Amazonian, Glamazonian hot mess beauty hoard beside me. So, now that I've already given you guys some Blair Witch vibes, if you're new to my channel, thank you for finding me and giving me a watch. If you're a return viewer, thank you for coming back. And today, I... I'm friggin' tired. I was gonna play with this face palette I got from Ipsy in my Ipsy bag, which is from a brand called Tanace, which is, I guess, Southeast Asian, and it's AAPI, so month. So why not enjoy... Asian American and um, Pacific Islander Heritage Month. However, I'm so tired. I don't. It's going to be really, really simple. I mean, really simple because I kind of just want to throw on what I did yesterday, which is my go to uh, sunlit cactus eye dust from Jessie's Girl and just put that over a base of eye primer and a little bit of black eyeliner and call it a day because I am tired. But let's go there. Um, I'm going to keep it really simple. This is a palette that has four eyeshadow pigments and then two that are supposed to be a blush and a highlighter. You can use all six on the face, though, on the eyes. Here's the thing. While this is beautiful, it comes out like bright baby pink on me. So unless I blend it into this blush and make it like a blush topper, it's not a highlighter I can use with my olive and golden undertones. However, when I swiped everything which I did eye swipes and face swipes. I liked what I saw for the pigment levels. So let's just go there. Let's just do something super, super simple. And I don't know what the hell that's going to be today. I've, I got to really organize myself. I, if you're a return viewer, you know, I've been struggling with this faux foster cat. It is basically a cat. Today we're going to use the Primer, Pero Primer, Primero primer, which is the Alamar Cosmetics primer. I got this one from um, BoxyCharm. And I'm still going to use one of my Real Techniques fluffy eye brushes to blend it out. So basically what happens here is um, I'm a sucker for cats. And I wasn't looking for a new cat because honestly, I've had cats straight through since November of 96. And I, I, I need a break. However, the one we have is old and special needs because he's got IBS. And he's going to be 17 this July. And we just basically at this point, because he's so, he's a neurotic nervous Nelly. His name is Max. He is a traditional Siamese chocolate point, which means he doesn't have that quote unquote modern Siamese inbreeding where they get those super sleek skinny bodies and the super skinny face. But he still has a lot of the breed specific things that are traditional, such as the pointed color, which is what they call the, the light and dark areas. But he also has IBS and likes to swallow his food whole while inhaling it like a vacuum cleaner and then yakking it back up. So between messes from the front end and the back end, I definitely need a break. He's sweet and loving and gentle, but he's Howard Hughes and does not allow you to uh, actually like do anything with his uh, like nails or brush him. So anytime I try and brush him to prevent him from getting knots, I end up getting smacked or complained at from him. And anytime that I try to, um, trim his nails he actually tries to bite or scratch my husband swears that this cat doesn't know anything like that but look i'm the one that bathes him i'm the one that attempts to groom him whenever he has an accident on him or me in the car and we go to the vet i clean that stuff he does the laundry part of cleanup i'm going to start with the shade desert opal i'm just going to sweep it all over because i just don't care but um and i'm using one of my motd cosmetics eyeshadow brushes it's the flawless flawless finish blend just because I want a real light wash of this shimmery shade I usually start from the crease up because I want to diffuse the lightest shade and I also kind of want to set any excess primer in my crease before it uh gets out of control so I do love Max he was my boy I mean he's really been daddy's boy they tend to be more one person cats those cats but um, he's really, he, when I was home recovering from my faux section, as I call my myomectomy surgery, he was quite my, my little knight in shining armor. He would not leave my side. So fast forward this new job with people I already knew within the same company. And um, now I'm going to put a little bit of this Mati Copper, which is the matte shade over here, just in the crease. 
See? And I'm going to just kind of do like a, a, a V with it. I don't want to get too cray cray. Because I'm going to take the copper and put it on the lid, I think. Oh, well, maybe we'll just do the third thing. Because I don't have a lot of... I'm, I'm, I'm frazzled. So basically, push came to shove. Somebody had a cat that they worked with. Actually, as a couple of people, I found out only yesterday, more people than I thought were involved with this. And this individual has a cat and a dog, and they needed somebody to care for the cat and the dog separately, thank God, while the individual was recovering from a long-term illness at an off-site location. I originally was told it was just how cat sitting, i.e., you know, go to the house and uh, change the litter. And the eye, um, not the eyes, don't you? She has change the litter and the food and the water daily, and you know, like pet it and let it know it's not abandoned, kind of thing. So, for that, I said, Yeah, sure, no problem. I can definitely do that. I think I'm gonna take it over through the crease a little bit more. Then, next thing you know, I was being asked when I was gonna pick this cat up, and that's when things got ugly. I told them straight out. You know, to cat sit, I can do on my own, no problem. But I own a cat and a husband, and I would have to get information on this cat to see if it would be compatible in our house, and then see if husband agrees to help me watch this cat and allow it to, you know, be around our cat. Because, you know, cats carry diseases if they don't have their, their shots and their medicine. You know, you got to have your shots. You got to make sure it's... It's not going to have something that could be contagious to your cat, that it isn't going to fight with your cat. So basically, yeah, everything we tried to prevent happened. So I'm not very happy. Then, do I own another brush that isn't triangular? Oh, we're just going to have to use you. You're not even an eyeshadow. Oh, you are an eyeshadow brush, though. Okay, this is my Firma Cosmetics number 403. This is an Ipsy brush, too. And I think I'm just going to take and blend Bengal Bronze, which is this shade right here. No, no, I'm not. I'm going to take the, the highlighter I was talking about and put it right here because we're just trying to do something kind of not too cray-cray. See, it's called Moon Glow. I see more ice and pink to it than I really would personally wear. But for eyeshadow, it's not so bad. So basically, the cat was... I, I, they, I was told the cat has all its shots, gets along with other animals, because again, it lives with a dog, and it's a girl, and it's fixed. It's indoor only, doesn't like to try and escape. No problem. I can do this. I took this information to my husband. He said, yeah, then no problem. We can do this. We go to pick up the cat. The cat's already boxed in his little cage. And I say he for a reason. And I'm going to try and use my Complex Culture Double-Ended Eyeliner. I'm going to use the black in the outer corner and the charcoal and that's a metallic charcoal in the inner so basically what happens is um when we get there and we get the cat it drives home nice and peacefully which is the quietest i've ever driven home with any cat out of any cat i've ever watched or owned so that was nice next thing you know my cat meets it and uh that's when the wars start my cat tried to be friendly with it and it decided it didn't want anything to do with that Guess why? Because it wasn't fixed and it wasn't a boy. A girl. It was an unfixed boy. I have a wild two-year-old unfixed tomcat in my house. Yeah, needless to say, it has tried to attack my husband. And has injured him. It has done the same to my cat. And I got to the point where I tried to find an alternative arrangement for it with someone. No one was available. So then we tried to run the Shawshank Redemption prison for cats. Everybody gets their own time out on the yard, blah, blah, blah. So what happens? One night, the cat figures out how to escape from the laundry room in the basement where it had everything it could possibly need. It was like a whole apartment set up for it. Yeah, that went over really well, let me tell you. When uh, it jumped in my bed at 5 in the morning. They did it two nights in a row before we figured out how it was getting out. So then we changed the containment system. Not so bad. Occasional scratches, but we realized how we could cycle, as we call, rotate the cats. Everybody got some time out so they could stretch their legs and look at the window and all. I even took the cat outside yesterday in his little crate so he could get a little sun. He was my friend. He was, like, going to... I mean, I 
Oh, that's not cool. Brand new, and it just crumbles. That's a problem. Well, that's going to go really sucky. And let me make sure I don't mush that thing into the ground. I can't even find where it fell. I don't even fucking care. Pardon my French. I'm just going to sharpen a new one. Anyway, so what happens is we've discovered that this cat is afraid of the, the old people reaching stick. We got one kind of as a gag gift, but kind of as like a real thing for helping like me grab stuff if my husband's not around. Because I mean, I'm not exactly short, but I'm not exactly tall either. I'm like five, five and a half ish, depending on the time of day. And so therefore... It's a handy little thing. He thought it was handy. Um, I thought it was handy. And we've been we've used it every now and then. See, so I have the lighter color on the inside going to the darker color. And I guess the trick is use it sideways with very little pressure. So today, this cat, Paws is his name. And he's beautiful. He's absolutely beautiful. And he's in perfect shape. Healthy, young. Problem is... He's an asshole. I have to just say it. He's a friggin' asshole sometimes. Like, sometimes he's a really sweet cat. Other times, not so much. So in the end, this asshole cat now decided this morning, while I'm in Zoom meetings, that he has figured out, because I'd cycled the cats, my husband got um, Max fed and watered and his time outside and on the, you know, to go to the bathroom and all those things before he left for work. And I had a late night with meetings last night. So... I let Max stay up and around until about 10, and then I switched him out right before I went in my meeting, and I brought Paws, which is the foster cat, out, and let him run around. I made him his food, and we played a little, and next thing you know, during my meeting, I realized this little mofo is breaking into my bedroom, which is the only room, because of the way the house that we're renting has a open floor plan on the first floor. So the bedrooms upstairs, it's a little tiny cape, are the only things where places I can actually secure Max while Paws is out on the yard. And Paws was actually almost successful at breaking in. And when he does that, he beats up my cat. There's a fight under the bed. My cat has an accident on the carpet under the bed, which means I got to move the bed and run the, the Bissell Green machine. Yeah, uh, it's a lot of extra work. So, you know, we picked him up on April 23rd. And so he was supposed to go home this weekend, May 21st. I found out last night at my meeting from the the second person I found out that works with these people and knows what's going on. Oh no, that person won't be out of their um, facility from their procedure until the 28th. I'm like, oh no. So now I'm trying to get this cat to not break in my bedroom and not beat up my cat. So of course what happens, I go for the only thing I know he's afraid of, which is the reaching stick. Not that I'm going to hit him with it, but he just doesn't like the look, the noise, any of it. So now I'm clacking it in front of him, not at him, not on him. He's freaking out. So remember, I'm on two. His bachelor pad is in the basement. I got to get him down two sets of stairs. Finally, get him down the second set of stairs. I had to go in there to wash sheets from the night before because the last time he broke in and did that, my cat had an accident on my sheets. So I had to strip the bed and I was washing the, the darks and the lights in, in two, I don't know, groups. Put my clear brow gel on now. So needless to say, while I'm down there, he's acting okay, but he's still a little grumpy with me, like, how dare you chase me with that stick? And I brought it with me because I've been caught one too many times when this cat's in a bad mood without something to scare him with. And uh, yeah, I don't hit animals. I don't abuse animals. I love animals. Animals to me are better than children. I'm sorry for you people who are parents. I tried and failed to be a parent. I'm a great auntie and I don't dislike kids. I just think it's easier to reason with a cat than a kid. Okay, so this is what we have. Not too shabby, right? It's not bad for career eyes. I'm going to put on some quick mascara, not even primer. So now get this. I'm downstairs. I set the, the washer. It's running. I filled his water again and changed his food again because I had fed him upstairs. But let me change and take care of his downstairs stuff because at this point, if he's going to be an a-hole and he's already downstairs, I'm going to go the hell upstairs after I finish that. And he can stay down there until the nighttime shift because when we're both gone... You know, my cat lives here. He gets free run. I'm sorry. You can like it or not like it, but that's kind of how this house runs. It's his house. The second of all, he has the leaky booty. You don't. You have the giant double size cat box downstairs and my boy doesn't have any box on the top floor. So guess what? He has free run and you don't. Well, don't you know? Now this cat is famous for trying to ambush people on the stairs because that's where he's nabbed my husband before. And he got me once, but it was more of a playful thing. 
like he was didn't want us to leave him yet like he didn't want to be alone no this time this little mofo came up at me with oh by the way yeah the mascara okay the lash curler was my trusty rusty revlon one this is mega um sorry wet and wild mega length mascara and it has the little bristles in that cone shape i'm sorry the uh oval kind of shape where it gets coned out wide and then back narrow so yeah now i'm going up the stairs and this little mofo not only attacked me he went so hard at me now my back my left leg which he was further away from got like a usual little light scratch which he's done to me sometimes by accident like trying to jump on my lap and he puts his claws out i wasn't too concerned about that however oh yeah and by the way i use the nyx control freak clear brow gel to set the few strokes I did to even out my brows with the Sephora brand retractable brow pencil. And the shade I've been using is number 11, Ebony. There you go. And this is just plain black. Uh, sorry, very black C158. I do not use waterproof because my lashes are delicate. And I don't, I mean, my eyes water, but really I don't have problems with my mascara. Like running or anything. When they get old, they get dry and flaky, and then I toss them. So, yeah. So, needless to say, this mofo hit me on the back of my right leg so badly, he punctured a vein. It instantly became a huge contusion under the skin, like a bleed out under the skin and a bruise. And I was, just to get up the rest of the stairs, I was bleeding hard. I was, like, leaving blood spots. I was not happy. I'm still not happy with him. I, in fact, had to run up the stairs so trying to get away from him. And I look back at him and he was looking at me like, yeah, bitch, come back. And I'm just like, whoa, 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 whoa. I am your only advocate. And for the longest, for all 20 days, you, I say the, today's the 19th. We picked him up on April 23rd. So for like 24 days, you and I have been BFFs, even when you've hit me with a, a intentional or unintentional scratch. This was mega nasty. This was like extra vindictive. So now, you know what? You want to be a jackass like that? No offense stay in the basement oh did i forget to turn the light back on so you're in the dark i didn't do it on purpose i seriously did god's honest truth forget to turn it on because again bleeding down my leg dark dark blood not like the little surface scratch bright red blood no no so that was concerning me more because again it's kind of behind me below me and i've got to kind of dip down and clean it without like i don't know maybe staining the floor because we have carpeting so yeah you get the idea Needless to say, I locked him up in there and I put his barrier back up, took care of my leg. It was so bad I had to use one of the um, Covidian brand bandages that they used on me after my surgery for my fake C-section, which is like this long and this wide. It's like a rectangle that fits in there. Slapped it on it after I washed it out with peroxide. I dabbed it and I hit it with the spray from Band-Aid, which is pain killing and disinfectant. And then I slapped that on and I taped it on. And that's what I had to do. And it bled through that. Yeah, it bled through that. So in the end, I ended up having that stupid thing. I had to change the bandage after I got out of the shower. And I put more, I put Neosporin on it with the painkiller, the, which is a, the more expensive Neosporin, but I, I don't even care. So yeah, that's kind of what happened. So that's where we're at. And that's why, honestly, between you, me, and the wall, I got to the point where I text messaged the second person. Of, of the two that are in on this help find somebody to take care of this cat and i'm like look while wow, this cat is usually okay he's too high energy too high maintenance he needs to snip he needs to get them balls off i'm sorry it is unsafe and cruel to an animal to lift a, a pet an animal that's a pet this is not a breeding stock animal this is not livestock this is a pet that's supposed to interact with other humans and other pets to let it be unfixed i don't care if you personally think oh that's cruel because you know i'm a dude i have balls i wouldn't mind my balls snipped dude it's not a, a person it is literally a pet and i know animals have rights too but here's the thing you're preventing cancers for them you're preventing ex unnecessary aggressive behaviors for them you are preventing all sorts of health issues escape issues injury issues and also if it's too aggressive and it attacks someone i had a male cat that I grew up with briefly at my grandmother's house. It was fixed, but it had been abused as an animal because it had escaped and hadn't been fixed at the time. And because it has such a nasty temperament from its days on the street unfixed, it attacked my grandmother, kind of similar to the way it attacked me, to the point where the ASPCA came down and said, you cannot legally have that cat. We are declaring it is, needs to be put to death. 
So do you want to really do that to your pet? No, you do not. If you truly love your pet, fix the damn pet. Have it spayed or neutered. There are low-cost programs everywhere. So that is what I'm going to try and give this cat back with. Low-cost spay and neuter information to neuter this boy. Then maybe he'll calm down. Yes, he's got playful kitten energy. I don't mind that. But if with that, all that, he has enough testosterone to give a bull shark a day and a half. So knowing this, my only takeaway is these eyes are average. What I would call non-spectacular, which is exactly how it should be when you work in a professional, conservative kind of thing. Mind you, I am the queen of bright neons and things. You know that. I'll, I'll wear any color. So yeah, overall, all I'm saying is I don't hate this cat still. I just want him to get the help he needs, which is to be fixed. And honestly, after this injury, I don't know if I can safely contain him. So I begged them to please try and find him somebody just to take him from the 21st even. Like, I'll, I'll give him till this weekend. But I can't do one more full week with him and this weekend. I, I can't. I need my life back. I have, most, I have two overflowing hampers of laundry I can't wash. I actually ended up having an accident on my own bed. Not that kind of accident. No, like, like a bloody accident. Like nosebleed at night. So I need to wash another set of sheets. I can't go in my laundry room because I've got a psychotic cat with more testosterone than brains roaming around down there with an attitude pissed off at me because I kept him from killing my old man cat. So yeah, that's how things go. We'll see how this wears. And, um, you know, it's a simple look. It was kind of quick and easy. It was under 20 minutes, which for me is fast. If you have any questions, if you made it to the end of the video, leave me a comment or even an emoji. And of course, if you're new and you like what you see, please consider liking and subscribing. So that way you tell the YouTube demons that you like what you see and you want more of me. If you're subscribed, please be interactive with me. So that way we'll keep these more fun. And outside of that, have a good Thursday. May the rest of May go well for you. I will upload when I can, what I can. And outside of that, you go on and have a safe and wonderful day. And if I don't talk to you guys before Memorial Day, have a great Memorial Day. If you celebrate it in your area of the woods. I mean, I know in the U.S. we do. I, I don't know about other places because I just, I don't know anything. What day is today almost, right? I got to go to work. I did all my morning meetings. I got a jet. I got to run to my evening in-person meetings. Do your part to end the pandemic. Be kind to animals. Be kind to kids. Um, I don't know. In other words, just, just like Rumi says, life is about the balance of when to hold on and when to let go. Be that kindness you wish to see in the world. Oh, and hashtag use common sense. <laughs>